It's been nearly three weeks since Hurricane Milton struck Florida and some residents along the Withlacoochee River still can't go home. News Channel 8's Alessandra Young is live from the Riverdale community with the very latest. We can see that water behind you, Alessandra. Yes, Stacy, residents here are trying to lean on one another to get through this time. And you know, after weeks, we can see there are still homes that are completely surrounded by the water. People have poured their blood, sweat and tears into their homes along the Withlacoochee River. Some houses are a total loss and have to be gutted. And it's heartbreaking, just totally heartbreaking. And we still have people underwater. It doesn't smell very nice. There's some dead fish and, you know, lingering things in the water, even though it is subsiding. So that's good. Neighbors like Jennifer Kern and Sherilyn Chambers say they're doing all they can to help share giving out food. I'm ready with, you know, plug in if you want to plug in your power, um, water, whatever. So we're just trying to keep everybody together and help our neighbors so they can come back and and restart their lives again here in their own homes. Just try to be here because this is going to take a lot of rebuilding. It's just been emotional and a lot of devastation, as you can see, as I said in our first interview. It was just one hit after another and another. People who live in the area say they're going to need money from insurance and FEMA to move forward. I don't want us to be forgotten. And to a point, I kind of feel we have. I understand that Ridge, Ridge Manor is underwater, but we still have people underwater as well. Some residents who didn't have to leave tell me they're ready to help their neighbors in need with everything from basic necessities to clean up. We're waiting for you and we're going to do everything in our power when you are able to get back in. We're here to help. Now those that can move in are slowly starting to and they're also assessing all of the damages that have been left behind. For now, live in Hernando County, I'm Alessandra Young, 8 on your side.